One of the phrases Luke used earlier, which I thought was quite interesting, was the question is whether you think there are good questions outside of science in a way. And now you've said that obviously for your research, you don't need to be asking anything other than purely scientific questions. And that's totally understandable. Um, but are you interested yourself in questions beyond science? I mean, do, do you um, is it is it a valid question to be asking in the first place? Um, you know, is there something beyond the universe that explains the universe? Or do you think that the only kinds of questions we should be asking are those purely scientific questions? Um, well, I, certainly I do have non-scientific questions, like, for example, how do I fill in my stupid tax forms? <laughs> right? Uh, but, uh, uh, I mean, and, and, and certainly there, there are more philosophical questions that I'm interested in, though I have to admit that's mostly to the extent that I think maybe one day they might become scientific questions. <laughs> so I, I, I'm afraid I'm very much the scientist. So, yeah, maybe since I know we're nearing the end, uh, maybe that's a point uh, worth emphasizing. There have certainly been uh, scientific uh, philosophical questions in the past that at some point turned into scientific questions, like uh, the cosmological principle, for example, since we're already talking about um, cosmology. That's something that um, scientists have found a way to approach, actually ask the question, uh, you know, how how uniformly distributed are, is matter, stars, uh, galaxies actually uh, in the universe is something that was once considered to be a philosophical uh, principle. And uh, now we have, you know, a lot of this research about consciousness. That's something which was uh, not a too long time ago uh, in the in the field of philosophy, but now it's more and more turning into a scientific discipline. And um, maybe there are other areas where this will also happen. What about you, Luke? Do you do you approve of the the overlap? Uh, you know, do you think you have to go get philosophical at some point when you, I suppose, reach the boundaries of of what science can tell you? I think, the, for me, the difference between science and philosophy is what it's trying to understand, rather than any. I I think there is, a, you know, epistemology, the, the theory of how we know things, how we know anything. I I think once you've got a firm epistemology, you can then aim that to try and understand the world, and in terms of the world, and that's science. Um, or if if there's a, a hypothesis which is not about the physical world around us. We could aim our say the same epistemology, you know, asking good questions and logic and pulling together the information we have and Bayesian probabilities and and all that sort of stuff. And we can aim them at those questions as well. And so for me, it's not that. So uh, I would I, I I disagree that science becomes philosophy, but never mind that. That, that might just be worrying about words. But if for me, there's sort of a, a, a coherent and integrated whole there. It's not that. Um, you know, saying a, a, a saying a question is unscientific is just to say what it's aimed at trying to understand, rather than any sort of um, uh, you, know, you know rejection of that idea. It's it's not a it's not a put down. There are yeah. questions that try to be scientific but fail, so unfalsifiable scientific theories. But that's another issue. <laughs> 